And Ryan's like, I look good in HD. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hey, baby. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, I'm Mia. I'm Ryan. And I'm Karen. What school do you go to? I go to Tech, Virginia Tech. We're supposed to hate each other, but. Oh, we're about... supposed to hate each other. I'm supposed to hate you. We don't care about JMU. We, <laughs> we had number two food. <laughs> And Ryan. I go to the University of Virginia. JM University. All right, so the first question I got was, how do you shave in a communal bathroom? Also, even more awkward, how do you go number two when there's always people around? Here's my input. Shaving in a communal bathroom is the hardest thing you'll ever do in your life. It's like driving in heels. Like, it's really, really hard. There's no space. There's no and shelves. And it's dark. And it's dark. <laughs> it's like dark. The <laughs> valley of death in the bathroom. As for going number two, go during the day when there's no one else like around, like when there's classes and stuff. Yeah. You will find secret bathrooms across campus. Campus. One girl in my hall, the student center, the basement, go to like the very back bathroom. That was a real concern of mine when I went to school because prior to communal bathrooms, I had never gone number two in a public facility. You'll learn which stalls are good and which ones aren't. I always used this, the stall that was closest to the wall. First of all, it cuts down the chances of someone being next to you by 50%. Yeah, a lot of times because there's a wall on one side, so there'll never be anyone over there. You just and you do get it. so comfortable with your hallmates, we would just we would poop. <laughs> We don't care. You'll get used to it, and then you'll never fear pooping in a public bathroom ever again. Do I need to bring pepper spray to college? I hear about people getting raped. Honestly, you I wouldn't go as far as pepper spray. It depends if you're going to a city campus. Yeah. Put your key in between your fingers, so when you're walking... You if get, someone you know, comes at you, you just... Yeah, you just shake your Watch your back. Don't walk places alone at night. This is just yeah. all common sense that you've heard before in high school from your parents, but like, you actually need to listen. Never put in your headphones when you're walking alone. You can't hear what's around you and you're a lot more aware if you're just walking without any distractions. So I have two questions that kind of tie into the whole pepper spray thing. An anonymous person on Tumblr asked me if people getting roofied in college is a real thing or if that's just an urban myth. Someone else asked me, I've seen a statistic for girls getting sexually assaulted in their first semester at college. The roofie thing does happen. Watch your drink. I don't even care if you have a beer. It, it does happen. It's not just some, you know, horror story that people made up. One in four girls get sexually assaulted their first like three to four months in college. Look out for your friends, look out for yourself. If your friend is totally trash and some guy is trying to get on get on in there, just be a good friend. The buddy system is like a real thing. If you're going out with a group of girls or a group of guys, like you need to have at least one friend. Yes. You're gonna keep tabs on each other the whole night. Look out for each other and you'll be okay. One of my friends like legitimately got roofied. We don't mean to scare you. Really, really do need to be careful. Just you can never be too careful. My advice is just to always be aware of your surroundings. Get the exactly. girls in there. Exactly. Take them down. Another anonymous person on Tumblr asked me, what's your advice about going into college with a boyfriend or girlfriend? I hear a lot of high school couples break up the first year. Is that true? My, okay, do not follow your girlfriend or boyfriend to mm -hmm. college. Not every single couple breaks up. 95 I'd say, yeah, I'd, I'd say 97. I only, if you like the school yourself and they just happen to be going there, that's fine, but just prepare yourself for the chance that you're going to break up. Like, go ahead. Go to college with a boyfriend or girlfriend, but yeah. just be prepared just to be break prepared. up. I think yeah. that's the best. I'm not telling you like, yo, break up with your boyfriend right now. No matter how you feel right now, when you get there, it's gonna it's be a different world. Different. Be plenty of other guys and girls everywhere. Um, well, I need to buy a printer for college. Okay, I didn't have a printer Freedom. for the first semester, the whole entire first semester, and it was hell running to the computer lab and library printing stuff out. I didn't finish essays till like five in the morning. Oh, and I'd have to get up early again, like right before class, I have to print out the essay and it was stupid. The second semester, I brought my printer and it was the greatest decision. <laughs> I was the same way. I didn't bring a printer in the fall like Mia. Well, luckily my roommate was nice enough to let me use his all the time. Yeah. So I quickly realized I needed a printer in the room. Roommates should share a lot of things, but I don't think printers are one yeah. of them. This is from YouTube. Charlie Girl 868 asked, tell these kids how to survive on a budget and must haves as survival food. This is a good question. Yeah. I like this. Granola bars. Granola you bars. Can chunk that on the way to class. Galore. Granola bars. Yeah. Galore. Okay. No one sits down and has breakfast. You need a bunch of granola bars. The end. I did a cage. Okay, you know what? You are an overachiever, Ryan. Okay, you just need a granola bar. Good night. You need ramen. You'll need hot pockets. You will need Chex Mix. You'll need ranch. You will need ranch for your pizza that you order from Domino's and Pizza Hut and everywhere because they don't give you ranch and you just need a bunch of it. So I suggest my, your own personal ranch bottle. That like stuff that it has a long shelf life because you're gonna forget about it yeah. and you're gonna find it later on. Pencils. Pencils um, and Nutella and peanut butter. Or stuff that's like Nutella. that. Nutella. Oh, Christ. We're going inside. What is the workload like in college? Well, I have a 10 page papers to write. Here's the thing, you don't write like long papers, you just write a lot in red. Okay, should we talk about birth control then? No. no. In the room. Oh my, you're a boy. I'm serious. Can I <laughs> leave the room for this? I want to like zoom in and write this. Birth control is just not something you talk about with like 
<laughs> guys are um, that's how my mom taught me. Brian, you're so soft. I love it. Like, it's a personal about. decision, so you shouldn't let anyone else influence you on it. Okay, yeah. like what's your advice on going Greek? We've got a pretty good panel here. We've got you know someone who didn't go Greek and uh -huh. someone who's in a sorority and someone's in a frat. You're not fraternity. Get out. <laughs> Sorority, I don't know, I don't know what your process is. You can talk after me. Recruitment is basically like a bunch of girl flirting. You're like kind of but not sure, do it. If you go through it and you absolutely hate it, drop out and it's not that big of a deal. Don't let outside pressures like force you into doing it because otherwise you're just gonna be wasting a lot of money to be miserable. And you just have to be yourself. I mean yeah. If you're yourself yes, and all the you way. know they don't like you then odds are you didn't yes. belong there in the first place. Do not act fake during rush or recruitment just to get into like one of the good ones or whatever. If you act fake and then you realize like I have nothing in common with these people, you're gonna hate all your brothers or all your sisters. I am not involved in Greek life. I think it's a good thing for some people. If you feel like you wanna be involved in that, go for it. Being Greek is like a huge commitment and a huge thing. Yes. And I felt like if I did that, I couldn't do a bunch of other things and I'm more interested in other things. I'm not a loser, I still have some friends, okay? I actually make even equally as close friends in other clubs because any club is like a family. Yeah. What should I do about my roommate? She sent me a friend request on Facebook and I try to start a conversation to get to know her but she seems standoffish and rude. Okay, truth be told, everyone feels like they have to be their roommate's best friend. You do not even have to be friends with your roommate. You just have to get along with them and be able to live in peace with them. Not really hanging out and it's fine too. Maybe she was just having a bad day. Don't be enemies. What does happen a lot is that you think you're gonna have all this time with your roommate, but when classes start and everything, you yeah. have completely different schedules. Yeah. And some nights I wouldn't see my roommate all day until it was time to go to yeah. bed. Yeah. Retrofry123 asks, I'm so nervous about going to college this year. I don't know. I feel like it's just going to be a repeat of high school. How do I go out and do stuff without making a fool out of myself? You. Slowly emerge yourself in social life. Like start with your hallmates, yeah. that's always a good place to start. A really easy place, but people don't really think about it a lot. It's class. Hey, did you do the homework or that? That homework was kind of hard. Like, it's really easy to make yeah. friends in class. It's easier yeah. in college, definitely, to make friends, but you still have to make an effort. You think, like, I'm going into school with no friends, blah, blah, I'm not going to know anyone, but everyone is in the same boat that you're in. Do it. Like, add, like, everybody yeah. that you meet. Yeah. Take all their phone numbers. Like, I tend to end up texting people through the school year just be like, like that I met the first yeah. week. Take yeah. all their phone numbers during orientation and be their friend. I don't know what you were like as a senior, but I'm not much of a party animal. However, when I go to university, I like to see what it's like to not go crazy, but just not be so scared to let go, if that makes sense. What are your thoughts on this? I realize this isn't the best way to phrase my question. I understand it, because that was my idea yeah. about going into college. I didn't went out in high school, but, but I'm not a crazy party yeah. animal. Um, it's so not a crazy party animal. You were like, all cooped up. You you might go crazy. I mean, but like it's not like you don't have to really live up to that stereotype. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go crazy. Yeah. Um. I still had fun my freshman year. I went out, but I wasn't out all the time. I didn't feel the need to do that. I, I, I like this subject because I feel like. I'm kind of in the middle about it, so I I don't think I'm being biased. Oh. Boomer! No! <laughs> he bit you! He tried so to. Did he bite? He, he tried bite? to. I was just <laughs> him out, and he was like... <laughs> 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 Do you think it'll be hard to manage grades a sorority in a part-time job? Yes. yes. Pick two. One of them should be grades. Yeah. <laughs> or not. Kobe Copeland, got any tips for high school seniors? Because I just want senior year to be turned all the way up. Oh, the God. Great fruit. Four, six, eight, one. Asks, is it hard being a germaphobe at college, Mia? Because I am too. <laughs> I'm a germaphobe, as I've expressed. The one thing you will absolutely have to get used to, and to this day I'm still sketched out, is people sitting all over your bed. <laughs> I kind of had a panic attack, maybe like. 10 or 11 times, you know? Be freaking aggressive and tell people not to touch your bed. Make a rule to people, be like, people knew coming into my room yeah. to go sit either in my desk chair, on my desk. I was a yeah. ferocious on beast. <laughs> people will share their drinks with you and share your cups and you say no. Yeah. Because that's disgusting. And that's how you I get guess mono. mono goes around freshman. I had, I had mono. I had mono. I had mono. I had mono. I had Grapefruit4681 again asks, do people honestly skip class a lot? Yes. Some days when you'll have a test in another class or some assignment oh, yeah. due and you know, the only possible way to get it done is to skip a class that you don't have anything due for. That's really yeah. the only time you should ever skip yeah. class. Yeah. So if you have a class that's really hard and like that's, you know, it's kicking your butt, don't skip it. But if you have a class that, you know, whatever, and you need to skip it, then skip it. Don't get in the habit, especially if you skip a morning class, you're like, oh, I'm just sleeping this one. And I did not miss a class at all until like the end of first semester. Yeah. It was Spanish, I was like, I'm not going because yeah. I don't want to. And I, went, I wanted to skip every single class after that. I 
didn't, but it was, I was very close to, and just don't because it literally becomes the worst yeah, habit you'll ever pick up. Ryan, I have a question for you. Maddie, Hannah asked, what are frats? <laughs> They're actually for three. It's the boy version of a sword. It's, it's, it's a group of guys who have a really strong bond. <laughs> Brotherhood. It's not all stupid things. We don't all just get drunk all the time. There's all the time. It's more than what you see in the movies. What was it like saying goodbye to your parents? I mean, I was terrified of being homesick and I didn't even cry. Yeah. It's like you're in shock. Almost. Yeah, it's, it doesn't feel real and honestly it feels like freaking summer camp and like you think at the end of the week you're going home and you realize like this is for yeah. love. Do not drag it out. Whether you love or hate your parents, okay, hug them, love you, kisses, you, they need to leave because if not, you're going to be there forever. Hey, you're gonna be sad. my you're baby! Gonna be Richard Five One Two Three asked how you learn to balance everything out. It, you never so learn. Basically, you're gonna get kicked in the ass a few times, and you're oh, gonna yeah. then you're gonna get your shit together. You don't really know how to study yet for college, because studying for college is very different than studying for high school. Figure out how to study. Figure out what works best for you. Yeah. Oh, and uh, just do you. Don't let the haters bring you down. 90s dilettante asks, how did you deal with your stress? You kind of, honestly, you kind of get used to it. Because yeah, you get stressed out stressful. all the time. It's like a daily yeah. thing. You just get used to it. You're like, well, yeah, I'm stressed you again. You can't handle it properly. You can't handle it properly. Get help. There's always yeah. help. There is help. Do not be yeah. ashamed to get help. Yes. Ever. There's this is how I handle stress. I just do it. Like, I, if I'm stressing out about an essay, I just, I literally just learn how to just be like, I'm going to knock yeah. it out. And yeah. I just sat down and I did it. Do you break out, gain weight at all because of stress? And if not, then how? You walk everywhere. Oh, get used to the walking. The yeah. first weekend. You're going to have some nice calves. The first weekend, um, I had blisters on my heels from walking. If you have to eat when you're stressed, like nibble on a carrot. Get angry at that. <laughs> Only get angry at a <laughs> celery stick. <laughs> that free ranch dough. Can you go into a bit further detail about why it isn't such a good idea mm. to move in with your best mm. friend? My best friend and I were planning on rooming together, don't. but now I'm kind of rethinking it. Don't, don't, Thanks. don't. Well, don't. Too late I feel now. so bad. I'm really, really sorry. One of you is going to become more attached to the other yeah. than they are to you. Living with a person is completely different than being a friend going over to the Definitely. house and hanging out with them all the yeah. time. It's hard to stay in touch with friends at home and at other schools. It's all about how much effort you put into it and how much you want to retain that friendship. It does get a little hard sometimes because yeah. you're all so busy all the time. But I'm going to use Ryan as an example. We Skype once or twice and at first it's exciting. You're like, oh my god, I get it. Talk to my friends. We're going to every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then no. you're not. It doesn't matter because when you get home, it feels like you yeah, it ever left like them. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about college and what's your least favorite? Favorite thing, freedom. You can do whatever the hell you want. Whatever. Like, do you remember, you remember that episode? Whoever. Do you remember, ew. <laughs> that episode of like Jimmy Neutron where all the parents were gone? And like, they all. That was the Jimmy Neutron. Oh, the movie, movie. yeah. But at Just the same saying. time, like, you remember, like, there's downsides to that. Like, you know, no one's cooking your dinner. Like, you gotta learn how to live on your own. So, yeah, it's like the Jimmy Neutron movie, <laughs> but no one gets abducted by aliens. Okay. My favorite thing is that there's always something to do, yeah. and it's always people to hang out with, and it's like, it's like one big sleepover. It's just fun all the time. Last time I walked home from the library and it was literally one o'clock in the morning, people were playing football. Yeah, in that the happens. Comments. It's always, it's just like always a fun time. Even though it's I was stressed out, it's kind of privacy. Oh my god. There, just I'm kidding, really, I changed it, I agree. Everybody needs new time, everyone needs downtime, and I don't like people who are all over my yeah. space and all over my face. I hate when I accidentally rhyme. People all over my, my face, face and all, all over my, my face. face. I'm no way. My, uh, my favorite thing, this is gonna sound really cheesy, but it's. All the new experiences you have, like yeah. you really, yeah. you feel like you're an adult for the first time. You make your own choices. Yeah. You, I don't know. You don't have mom and dad to run home Jimmy to and be like, "What should I have done in this yeah. scenario?" Thanks for hanging out with us and asking questions and listening. Have a fun freshman year. No one's lying when they tell you that college is the most fun time of your life. But it's what you make it. You know. It is. True. Later. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> what is <laughs> Bye. <laughs>